All right, Shalom. This is your brother Parab, GMS Miami. First and foremost, want to give all praise, design, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone, which are the top teachers in Israel on the planet today. And greetings and blessings to all the sincere I came throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives to do so. Okay, and um, it's another episode of Spiritual Spill, man, and it's just, uh, you know, been a little bit of up and down this week, you know, um, you know, with all those wicked demonic vibrations out, you know, holiday season, all that bullshit, man. But on the flip side, you know, with current events and uh, the way things are moving as far as the spirit goes and the scriptures, it's, 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 it's been very rewarding, man. And um, it's like, it's really, it's really like, uh, you can't, can't put it into words, really, because it's like, you know, being a babe first coming into this thing and um you know being compelled by the by the by the spirit to do this you know it's like it's you don't see any other alternate you know and you just hear first about it but then you know like apostle Ta always says you know you get up and then you get down and then you you know you get on fire then you get a little you know um you know because of the time you no know, and that's why we got comfort scriptures like do it terry wait for it you know but um it's just you know uh through the spirit i just uh sat back and recollected and said look man look how far we've come man no matter how long you've been in the faith man whether it's been uh two months three months three years you know 10 years 15 years 20 years 30 years it's always beautiful to recollect and look at where you came from and look you know the the, the, the tender mercies that you have by shai has bestowed upon us man and um and to actually see what we believe you know what we wholeheartedly believe you know to actually see it coming to fruition man is is absolutely surreal you know it's real but it's like whoa i i actually knew about what's happening years before it happened now it's happening man okay and that just gives you a whole different level of respect and love and honor and praise for the most high and his son man you know and it also increases your level the level of fear that you have for the heavenly father and his son man okay because it, it's it's plain now it's plain the most high has to come back and destroy shit he has to he has to fuck this place up man it's 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 evident you know why because it's like it's nothing good here there is nothing salvageable but the men that are on the highways teaching this word and their families man and, and you know uh one third of the nation of israel which is a small number you know but other than that, man, everything else is, is vanity and vexation of spirit, just like the scriptures say, you know, everything, man. It's like in, in, in the most high, you know, he, he, hey, he, he's making these, you know, these, these put, uh, you know, uh, exposing these niggas wickedness, man. You know, uh, for the past few years, he's been bringing, you know, um, they, they're, they're so-called, uh, hella days or holidays been falling on Sabbaths, man. Okay. So these niggas been celebrating demonic vibration uh holidays, hella days, on the Lord's Sabbath, man. You know? And it, 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 it shows, man, how wicked they are. They they, they give uh, total credence to that shit. Like the brother Hadar said, man, hey, Christmas and these holidays are like their most high, man. Okay? You tell them that it's wicked, and they just disregard it, you know? They, they wholeheartedly, they wholeheartedly go head first into it, man. You know? Just like we wholeheartedly go ahead and first into these scriptures, man, and, and shut off the world and forsake it all. They, they do the same thing, you know? But um, it just shows you, man, the Most High is fed up with these niggas, you know? He is. He's been fed up. It's just that he's long-suffering. And then there was a remnant amongst, there's a remnant amongst, you know, uh, Israel that has to be saved. And they have, they have to get time to, uh, to repent and to wake up uh, to who they are. And that's happening, man, in mass numbers. And we, me and brothers talk about that all the time, man. We don't have a clue how many people are waking up daily, man. Okay? Because we got uh, instances in the scriptures, you know, uh, where the disciples went out and uh, five, 500, 5,000 woke up at one time, you know? 3,000 men came into the into the fold, you know? But, um, so just imagine now, you know? Because there wasn't the internet back then. You didn't have, uh, you know, the men pushing the word out through the unicorn, through the internet like we're doing today. So imagine how many people are waking up now, you know? And hey, and it's a beautiful thing. It is an absolute beautiful thing because what that entails that we, we, we're rapidly approaching the end, okay? 
and not only that, you know, in the news, you know, the, the, the uh, war talks between North Korea, uh, you know, China and um, China and Russia doing uh, Salakia, uh, yeah, China and Russia, Russia doing war drills to uh, be prepared if uh, America decides to go into North Korea, which is all, you know, propaganda and and and, uh, and, and uh, false flags, you know, uh, just to propagate war on the planet, you know, the uh, issuing a new world order. We get it, you know, but hey. Death is real, okay? All, all those people that died, like what, 50 some thousand people died in Vietnam War, you know? And that's what they say, that's their numbers, you know? 50,000 Americans died in uh, Vietnam War. So the deaths are real. And like uh, that, that devil, uh, uh, Abraham or uh, Abe Finkelstein said, you know, sometimes you gotta trim the herd, okay? And that's, that's what they're all about. They're the devil that the Bible speaks of. And real soon, they're gonna trim the herd again. Okay, and we're rapidly approaching it. And that's how we know it's going to happen. Because it's not like uh, they don't want it to happen and they're trying to do whatever they can to uh, uh, prevent war from breaking out. No, that's that's their MO. They, hey, they destroy the other earth, the harbinger of death. Okay, so listen, that's in their plans. And that goddamn devil, Apple Pike, spoke of it. He prophesied of it, you know. It really wasn't prophesying, it's just been in their plans to do it. And they're going to do it. Okay, but the most high is gonna show up and throw a monkey wrench in their whole enterprise and they're not gonna be able to carry it out. Okay, but hey, that's why we got into what we got into because the most high is gonna allow this devil to put uh, uh, wicked niggas to death, man. He's with it, he's totally with it. Okay, and how, how these niggas are acting, they're with it too. Okay, and we, we applaud the Heavenly Father for doing that, man. And that's what they understand about us. We're in the right spirit. Guys talk shit about us and say, oh, they're, they're, they're uh, doom and gloom prophets. Hey, man, that means they don't understand the scriptures. And that's cool. That's cool. We'll, we'll take that title. Because I'm pretty sure they call all the, prof the prophets, the apostles, the disciples, they call them the same thing. That's why they were putting them to death. Why? Because nobody, hey, our people are proud and, 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 and willingly ignorant and wicked and don't want to be told about their, their, their uh, discrepancies, man. Or uh, how they're going off. Why? Because it plays in... It, you know, it kind of plays into the psyche that the Most High gave us, which is to be a royal people, you know? But, hey, it's nothing royal about the nation of Israel right now, except for that the uh, the elect of the nation of Israel are waking up. That That is the only thing that is uh, uh, that, that resembles any sign of royalty. Everything else is, is, is just pure shit, okay? And like the scriptures say, even at this point, we're the off-scourge of the earth. We're the off-scourge, man. We're the, we're the scum, okay? You know? We ain't shit right now. You know, the elders say don't say that, but you know, the, the, the reality is we're not where we want to be. We're not where we're supposed to be. We're trying to get there, okay? And only a small remnant of men are doing that right now, okay? But like I say, man, it's, it's just an absolute beautiful thing, man, to, to go out and prophesy this word, you know, and and, um, and, and really, you know, just uh, extremely happy for the elder apostles, man, and the men that have been laboring in this thing, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 plus years, man. For them to actually see the reward, not not saying that they they would have lost faith if they hadn't, but just it's just beautiful, man. That you know they they went out on the limb, you know. They they wholeheartedly believe uh, in 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 uh, uh, an apostle Tahar and the uh, top elders, you know, and you know trying to spirit with the spirit, and now to see that they were they were absolutely right, man. It's it's such a beautiful thing, man. You know, and um, we're following suit. You know, we 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 um. You know, because it's deeper than that. You know, the Most High actually came and sucked with us and opened up our understanding to get the knowledge and led us to the right teachers. But we did the grunt work. We actually tried the spirit with the spirit. And we found out, hey, the elder apostles of Great Millstone are the true men, uh, 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 um, the, the, true, uh, the true men that the Most High set up to teach the word, okay? They are the top men. And we tried the spirit with the spirit, and now it's just, you know, it's just, you're just so thankful, man. You're just thankful because it could have went the other way. You could have been following Zabak <laughs> or, or, uh, uh, or Nate, you know, which I, I did. I followed Nate, Zabak, all them other clowns, man, you know, but I kept trying the spirit with the spirit, and it led me to the elders, man, okay? And that's a beautiful thing, man. You just got to love, just, just, just fall in love with the process, the whole process of this thing, man, okay? And, and as long as you, you, uh, you adore, what you know um what the most high has shown you to this point 
and the knowledge that he's uh, imparted unto you and that he's called you to this wonderful, wonderful vocation, man. You know, long as you do that, man, hey, you, you, you ain't got time to be getting depressed and, and um, you know, getting down and out and, and then having that war is me spirit. Because regardless of how low you get or how bad times uh, times are, uh, you still in this faith, man, you know? And hey, you, you're being chastised. That means you're not a bastard, okay? So there's always pluses, okay? No matter how negative things get, there's always positives, man, you know? And just hang your hat on that. Hang your hat on that, man. And Lord willing, it won't be long. Like I always tell brothers, man, um, you know, when they ask how I'm doing, hey, it could be worse. I could be catching hell, you know, I go through some infirmities or whatever. Sometimes I just want death, you know? But I'm always... Uh, maintain that it could be worse and when i say worse i mean you could be in the world not knowing what's about to happen and walking around like a uh, chicken with your head cut off that 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 type of worse okay so no matter how down you get just uh, always acknowledge that you're in this faith and, and you have the truth and you the most high set your mind free okay alluding to saint john 8 and 32 the truth shall make thee free and we're free man we're free regardless of what happens we are free, okay? And that gives us reins to obtain this beautiful knowledge, man. And Lord willing, save us and our families from the onset terrors that are coming on the earth, okay? And that's that's beautiful within itself, okay? So um, with that, I want you know, uh, Lord willing, that was a little exhortation or edifying, you know, Lord willing. So with that, I want to say, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Barakatham, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing. We almost there.